Well, hello there. The light is terrible because it is almost 5... It's 4.30 here. I just got home from a big old day of shopping. I usually don't do haul videos, but um, I'm going to do one. Why not? So, anyway. Um, I went to Michael's because they have 60 to 70% off all of their Halloween stuff. So I did get some of that, but while I was looking for uh, something else that I needed, which I did not find by the way, I found the uh, the Tim Holtz Wallflower Vellum Papers and it was on sale for the whole pack for $4.99. I think it was on clearance for $4.99. And um, look at that! I love it! So I will definitely be using a bunch of these. They're gorgeous. So I went ahead and picked that up, and then I went and I got all my Halloween stuff, and I still had a either a 40 or a 50% coupon. So I went back and I picked up the uh, the paper stash, the Wallflower paper stash. And since I could use my coupon for this, it turned out to be eight or nine dollars that I paid. So I thought that was a good deal for uh, this paper. That's why I haven't bought it before, is just because it's it's pricey paper, but oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? So that was that. And then, like I said, all of their Halloween stuff is uh, 60 or 70% off. So I got some uh, adhesive ribbon because some of this does not look Halloween-y. <laughs> So I can use this in almost anything. So I got some of that. And then I picked up some Martha Stewart washi. They had all kinds left. And this one has cats and little witch things. And it says Happy Halloween. So I went ahead and got that because that was pretty cheap considering. And they have these cute little... Uh, packs of trim that are on sale uh, and they have noticed the shape it looks like a little a little dress or something and this one was for a witch and they had one for their tr uh, their trims according to style so they had one for a mermaid and one for a ladybug and one for a bumblebee and so I went ahead and got this one um, because I can always save this and use it for next year and they had two left. Oops. Witch's Brew and Bat Wings. So those are these, those chipboard things. I just went ahead and picked them up because why not? I think they were like 40 cents or something. This ribbon was on sale. It's wired. But um, look how pretty that is. And, you know, you can use that for anything. I think. So I picked it up to use in a different journal because, hey, it was on sale. <laughs> and then I got this I just found in a bin there. It was they're the Tim Holtz rub-ons and these are the gold ones and they were $1.79. So I went ahead and got those because why not? And they had a couple of treat bag packages left over, so I picked those up. And then they had these, <clears throat> their Halloween washi stickers, and I picked a few up, and I didn't realize that they were like these cute little books that you can go through. And then I also didn't realize that there's more patterns in the back. So I picked up a few, and I'm glad I did. Not only were they dirt cheap, but um, there's some neat little patterns in here. So that'll be fun to share and for next year's journals. And then I got two of these because these were only, I think, like $3 since they were on sale. <clears throat> and they're a stamp set and a stencil set and I took this one out so you can see 
there's the stamps, just, you know, your basic uh, acrylic stamps, clear stamps. And then these are the stencils, and I thought they'd be more like, you know, you, where you could put them on, stencil over it, and take it off, but they're more like stickers, which is fine. I'll still use them. So I got that one, and then this one, it has some bugs and some splatter. Fun stuff, right? Right. Okay, so that was Michael's. And I also went to Hobby Lobby because they're kind of right next door to each other. And I got some uh, orange and black ribbon for 60 cents. This red ribbon because, you know, Christmas is coming. And this cool green leaf ribbon. And all of the ribbon is, you know, always... 50% off and a lot of their Christmas stuff is 40% off so I picked these up for a project that I'm doing and I splurged even though it was on sale and look how cute this stuff is it's trim and it's already decorated with knots and beads and little snowflakes and isn't that cute? So I'm thinking that this will be a cute little tassel of some sort on a journal. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm going to share some because there's 15 feet for crying out loud. I don't need that much. Uh, there, <clears throat> all of their stamps, or excuse me, their punches were on sale for 40 or 50% off. So I went ahead and got one of those and some felt for my Christmas project. And this was the only thing that uh, I paid full price on, but even then I used my 40% coupon on it. So I didn't even pay full price for that. And then I hit the clearance rack and I got some black lace for a dollar. And the same kind of stuff, only this one is Halloween. Look how cute. It's got little pumpkins and little wooden beads. So cute. So I got that because it was 60% off, I want to say. And again, I will be sharing that because I certainly don't need four yards. And... I did get some other things, but they are gifts, so I can't show them. <laughs> uh, but I, one of the things that I always hit is the fabric and remnant aisle because they always have trims. And each of these bags <clears throat> was only a dollar. So I got, look at all this pretty, pretty, pretty trim that I got. This bag was a dollar. Look at this stuff. What? That's cool. That is cool. And this bag was a dollar. Um, what are you going to do with that stuff? I don't know. I can, I will certainly be sharing some. I can tell you that. This one is, oh, that's where the adhesive was. There we go. It's a pretty blue. And this is, um, elastic. So that could be fun for something, huh? And this one, I couldn't believe that this was only a dollar. It's ridiculous. There's some more of that really pretty white ribbony trim. And then look at this. Look at all this I got for basically 50 cents because the other stuff was in there too. It's got pearls on it. It's so pretty, and it's really good quality. Um, it's a nice applique. I couldn't believe that. Heck yeah, I'm going to take that for a dollar. I think that was a movie. And then I went to Tuesday morning because, you know, it's right there too. Oh, I just can't help myself. 
Anyway, they have got a dollar forty nine, and I don't know if you can tell, but this is a, a gold and a white lace, and a black lace, which I did not open, and they are twenty one by thirty six inches. So you get quite a bit for a buck fifty. So I went ahead and got a couple of those. And I'm going to use these in a project, the little fleur de lis. Some Christmas tags that I'll be using in a project. Um, I found those. What the heck? They're cute little bags. Um, can always use these in projects. Uh, 99 cents for these Christmas tags and they're cute as can be and they go with the journal that I'm making now and I got these this is the mail well, yeah this and the paper were the most expensive things I got um, because there's little Christmas items in here there's also other items in here as well that I'll probably be uh, gifting out and sharing because if you saw how many tags I had oh yikes but they're really nice they're cute as can be but I did go ahead and get those because I needed some Christmas items and the rest you know like I say I can share I, I went to preschool so I know how to share and these are drop dead gorgeous they're Anna Griffins, and I went ahead and picked them up because they were at only $1.50, and they are gorgeous. Butterflies and birds. They had paper there as well, but I did not get the paper. <clears throat> but did that stop me from buying paper? No, because I did pick this one up. This was the only one I saw there, um, and it was, again, $4.99, 5 bucks. And it is called Field Study from Paper House. And there's some stickers, but look how pretty. And it's nice quality, too. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> and it's got some gold, the foil on it. This would be gorgeous in a travel journal, a nature journal. All kinds of stuff, don't you think? So yeah, I did go ahead and pick that up. Because, you know, I just can't help myself when it comes to paper. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I went grocery shopping, but I won't show you what I got at the grocery store. <laughs> so, that was my big old haul. So, um, let me know if you like haul videos. I don't go shopping a whole lot, but when I do... This is what I get. So uh, let me know what you think, and I will talk to y'all later. Have a great week. Bye.